What's up guys, it's Z. Welcome back to my Beginner Rock series part 5, the edited compact version if you missed my live stream. So the very first thing I want you guys to do in the City Siege is I want you to go to your event center and I want you to click City Siege and then you're going to click Align Cities top right, Sanctuary Mastery on the bottom, and then you're going to see this page. These are the City Siege skill points that you can add. Um, either in battle or assist the maximum is 45 points but they give you 30 to start with so I will show you exactly how to get all the skill points don't worry but the first 30 a lot of new people forget to put it in and you always want to start off by putting these skill points in first because it's really going to benefit you now I'm going to talk about both um, the categories of battle and assist since there's only two the battle category is only f I feel for I feel for people who are either the rally callers for the city siege, especially if you're in a new kingdom and you're fighting for your city because you haven't made like a pact yet on what alliance gets which city, then you're going to have to fight for it. So the rally callers should definitely put it in battle and also the people who are defending the city. So let's say like, you know, same thing as the, I think they're the same as the rally caller, right? So the rally caller or whoever has the biggest stats in your alliance that's taking over the city, you want to put it in battle. Everyone else, like the members um, in your alliance or whoever else that's not the rally caller, you want to put it in assist because the assist skill tree will help reduce your resource costs when healing and reduce the resource speeds as well. So now I'm just showing you how far the 30 points gets and the 30 points will basically stop at this wall breaker too. And the last 15 points that will reach the bottom to reduce your resource cost, increase your healing speed and everything, and increase your wounded capacity will be from the, thir the first three boxes in the city siege event. When you're doing the city siege event, you want to make sure you have two partners to do it with you. Or you can have two farms if you can't find two partners but for a new kingdom it's best if you find two partners because then you know they'll have the troops already ready for you you don't have to mass produce a bunch of troops in your farm but over time you can use a farm like how I do and it gets it a lot like done quicker by done quicker I meant like let's say nobody's online and then you only have yourself then you can get your city siege chests open by just attacking yourself with your farm which makes it so much easier on you as well, you know? So one, two, and third chest. You see the Sanctuary Mastery points? That's exactly where you get your last 15 points, which is super easy to achieve. All right, now moving on to how to open up the chests. So like I told you, you need two partners, especially if you're in a new kingdom and you're a beginner, right? So you see right there the C22, that's me. That's the castle we've been working on together in the Beginner Rock series and you want one partner to be a big castle so the big castle you want to go off their stats in the city you're going to be reinforcing um, their city with just you and that person and uh, in this case scenario we're using sleepy wombat the l2 and i'm going to go off his stats and what i want him to send is just t10 infantry in front and what i'm going to send is just the back line far ranged troops such as archers and war machine so of course every single person especially big person is not going to agree with just sending infantry but what you can suggest to them is you know if they help you out they will also get military points as well which i'm going to show you in this video not only do they get military points but let's say like you know if you guys both grow like if you grow and he grows then you guys are going to be a more powerful alliance as well and then the second partner you want to pick is someone to attack you so in this case i'm using octavia my c30 i chose octavia instead of like an l3 or something because i felt it was going to be more relatable for you guys it has t9 army okay so now in this city i have already archers which is the backline troops and catapults which is the war machines like the trebuchets again far ranged not the rams okay and the reason why i only have me and my partner is because the more people you have inside the more points it's going to split and it's just going to take a lot longer for you to open your chests so that's why i say only you and that big person so now we're going off sleepy wombat stats which he has steel shaper 120 and ogid 100 it's what he has available and it's his best heroes right now 
Obviously, I don't really spend too much time on it um, because my friend's castle, I mean, it's my friend's castle, but he doesn't really go on it, so it's kind of like my farm. Uh, yeah, but anyways, now your second partner, if they're in the same alliance with you, they actually have to exit the alliance and either go into a farm alliance or a different alliance to attack you. Alright, so now Octavia is attacking me. Like I said, I'm using this castle because it has T9 army and I felt like it was going to be most relatable to all the new kingdoms out there who have like T9s and T10s more than they have T11s. Straight off the bat. And remember, when the attacker marches, send no heroes. So you can do it two ways. You can do it one way where they do send heroes and you kind of just go back and forth hitting each other. Or either you can just do it number two, like how I do it, they send no heroes. Alright, so you see in this report that we only got 5,000 wounded, but obviously they got a bunch wounded. Because they basically uh, suicided their troops. Alright, and then if you're looking at the report, see Sleepy Wombat is the only one that got the 5,000 wounded, and he got 98,000 kills. Whereas um, my castle, I got no wounded at all, so that was my goal, no wounded. But I did get some kills in, and honestly, for a lower level, lower tier army that's um, like far ranged, that's kind of like what you're going to get for now, but as you keep leveling up your troops and getting like T9, T10 backline troops, you'll get a lot more kills. And it also depends on what hero is on the wall. So the heroes that we're using right now are Steel Shaper and Shrek. So they kind of buff up, in they kind of buff up infantry, so that's why you saw that infantry did a lot more kills. So just keep repeating the process until you opened up all your chests and then I'm pretty sure your partner is going to want you to attack them back so that they can open up chests. And that's why it's really important when you're in defense in the city that you don't get any troops wounded because later you're going to have to wound all your army anyways when you're attacking. The higher level that attacks you, the faster you're going to get your chests. This is also the reason why I make farms because it just gets it done a lot easier. You don't really have to ask anybody. Um, but one big important tip that I have for you for all the new kingdoms who are watching this. Make sure that if you're in City Siege that you're always with a person who has really good stats and good heroes because a lot of people will probably still try to hit you. And that is why I preach to you guys. I preach you need to have eight hospitals. That's like mandatory. I usually don't make things mandatory, but please have eight hospitals inside your castle. It's a must. Remember that you don't have to do this with just two people in the city. You can do this with a bunch of people and even max out the city if you want as well. But it's just going to take longer because the more people that you have in the city defending, it'll split the points. So when it comes to the rewards, you get such good rewards in this. You get like Forge stone, keystone, strengthening stones, steel, and in a new kingdom, I'm pretty. If you guys haven't run into that problem yet, you're going to. You're going to run out of steel, and it's going to be annoying. But there's healing speeds, reset stones, jewel chesses, um, knowledge potions, advanced summon spells, skill chesses. It just city siege has one of the best rewards like in the events. So make sure you're not missing out. And before you start healing, make sure you put those 15 points that you earned from the three chesses back into the tree so that you can get the maximum benefit of reduced resource costs and reduced healing speed cost. Before we even get started with the exciting part of this video, which is pimping up another person's castle, we're going to do an even more exciting thing. I'm going to be announcing to you right now my first ever giveaway. So the rules of entry are simple. Make sure you do all these rules because if you don't do all these rules, you're not going to qualify for basically like a ticket or whatever you want to call it, an entry. So my giveaway that I've um, thought of and I've created myself for you guys is a kingdom pair basically a kingdom duo versus a kingdom duo event so how it works is that you have to have a partner to do this whether it's from your kingdom or from another kingdom it's really your pick so you and your partner will be valid for one entry but both of you have to do the rules in order to be valid for one whole entry i hope that makes sense i'll give you an example like right after this so the rules are simple. There's only three rules. One, subscribe to my YouTube. 
to just show me proof that you've subscribed to my YouTube by sharing a screenshot to me online or Discord. It's up to you. I'll leave my line in Discord at the end of the video like I always do. And then number three, this is the very important one. Leave in the comments below this video your kingdom number, the partner you want to give it to. Make sure you guys have each other's names down, okay? Because I don't want to see any love triangles and everything like that. So make sure you write down your kingdom number, the partner's name that you would like to give it to, and why you two deserve to win this giveaway. What the giveaway is, is I'm going to be sending out $10 packs to both of you. So each of you get $10 packs and um, when, it, when we're talking about the choices and everything, I'll make sure to message you privately if you want. And uh, yeah, we can pick out which $10 packs you guys would like. So I'm going to say the rules one more time. One, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Two, show proof that you've subscribed to the channel by sharing me a screenshot online or Discord. And three, leave in the comments below your kingdom number, the partner's name you would like to give it to you, and why you two deserve to win. All right, well, I wish you guys the best of luck. And if you guys watched my live stream earlier, um, you gotta make sure that you do the rules as well. Even though you're part of the live stream and you're valid for two entries because you showed up to my live stream, um, it still doesn't mean that you are completely in until you do all three of those things. So here I'm going to set an example for you guys. Rule of entry number one, you're going to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bells. While you're at it, just click that like button if you like this. Rule number two, share a screenshot that you subscribe to me online or Discord, just like this. And lastly, rule number three, make sure that you and your partner are writing in the comments below this video, what kingdom you're from, your partner's name, and why you both deserve to win. Make sure that you guys both have each other's name. No love triangles here. Alrighty, so this is the second castle that we are going to pimp up in this mashup series together. And this castle is Kim B's, but actually her boyfriend... Joseph is the one that reached out to me on the YouTube comments wanting to surprise his girlfriend. Um, so shout out to Joseph and Kim B for reaching out and wanting to improve their stats. Okay, so entering the castle, we're going to look at the equipment first. Since Kim B is in a new kingdom, I expect her equipment to be exactly like this. Not everything is going to be purple, but everything is a work in progress. Right off the bat, you can see that she's working on her weapon, which is the very first one. She got to level 40, strength in 27, and it seems like that's the one she's focusing on first. And I see the helmet is very close second. All right, let's see what kind of troops she is focusing on. So I see that infantry attack jewels are inside, and she has one infantry attack, 5.2% purple recent attribute, which is really good for her level. I like that the two skills she has is also very useful, Fountain Boost and Hunting XP. The helmet has Infantry Defense, again purple for its level, really good. Another EXP skill. Her armor has HP Attack, blue and green, awesome. Ooh, another purple for its level, and another purple for its level. Okay, so everything doesn't look too bad, it just seems like she really has to just upgrade and strengthen all of these up. And what I would recommend is for her to try to get the gloves up as well. I know a lot of people neglect that one, but the gloves also provide an additional attack jewel as well. Not only with attack, but I can't stress enough how important HP is, so make sure you guys don't ever forget your HP. Alrighty, let's start off with the wall first to see what she has on her wall because she's still a small castle in a new kingdom, so she's going to be playing defense a lot. Okay, so right now she only has Rafe on the wall. She's missing one hero. So we're going to have to add one more hero just in case. I'm going to look at her tiles. So far she has a lot of green tiles inside. Awesome. Four hospitals so far and two war tents. Okay, so she definitely needs to make eight hospitals maximum and two more war tents. I'm just going to make some more materials for her. The stones. Because, you know, each minute counts every minute counts so awesome she's doing her dailies and let me just collect these login rewards for her 
because you can get really good speeds and potions over time if you do this every day or exp so let's talk about the importance of war tents and hospitals really quick just because i know i said it only once in the previous video but in case there's any new viewers watching this and you have no idea why well basically with the war tents it increases your training speed it increases your training capacity so how many troops you can train at a time for me right now i can train about like 7100 at a time for like two days something hours because i have heroes maxed out as well and that's kind of like the goal you want to get to because in this game it's all about troops so the more and continuously you keep making the better for you and hospital space especially if you're new in a new kingdom if you get hit um you're gonna lose all your troops if there's no hospital space left over and i'm pretty sure many people in new kingdoms know this by now if you've gotten hit Okay, let's go take a look at her skill sets because I saw that she doesn't have to spend 200 gems switching back and forth on skill sets. So I want to see her battle skill preset. Okay, so right off the bat, I see cavalry attack, archer attack, and war machine attack all maxed out, which is kind of like splitting it three ways. And right down here, she only invested in archer attack. What I would probably do is probably invest more into one attack and then maybe work on like one hp or defense on the bottom because you know that to get to your archers they have to get through your war machines let's take a look at her heroes so joseph her boyfriend told me that she's currently working on faceless getting it to 120 because it's an orange hero it's a lot easier to get to 120 compared to gold and i see shrek does have skill books on it so she's definitely working on shrek as well and I see that the hero bonds is kind of blinking with the arrow, so I'm going to be clicking that hero bond very soon. I didn't get to touch up most on it, but make sure you guys are activating your hero bonds because it does increase some percentage in your, you know, stats. The Renok and Mori Ishtar is going to increase it by 3%. And the goal is to get Mori Ishtar to level 120 so that it can maximize that um basically hero bond percentage all right so let's go take a look at what her stats are right now before we even give any suggestions on what to improve or it, um, before we start like moving things around right found a dead castle nearby i'm just going to send like one infantry at it just to test her heroes right now since i saw that her skill books are in renoke and shrek and as a new member, that's kind of like what you go for. You know, you go for Renok first because he's purple. He's a lot easier to level up with potion-wise and what you've basically got. And the only reason why I turned on her buff of 20%, even though I kind of just added that, was because she already had her attack buff on. So I just added the defense buff because you never know if anybody's going to attack you and you can never feel too safe, even though if you're... Uh, your castle is positioned next to an L4, your king, still. You just never know. With new kingdoms, it's a little, like, unstable. You can never tell if you're safe, even if you think you're safe. Okay, so these are her stats right now. 255, 251%, and 209%. They aren't very far apart from each other, so that's the good news. I'm going back into her hero hall to see exactly her progress with the heroes. And seeing Shrek, he only needs one more phase to hit level 125 stars, which is great. Ruan Ga has um, a bad skill buck on her. She'll probably have to take that out in the long run. Since Ruan Ga is for Calvary and it had a farm book on it. Okay, let's take a look at something else that she got. We are going to do these hero bonds really quick because the arrow is popping up and it's kind of like a little tinkling sense for me if i don't click it so i have to click it all right so we boosted up a few of her percentages including this archer attack it hit four percent and uh, oh it hit eight percent actually because her lin mare is level 92. so all these hero bonds are so important and i make uh, i want to make sure that you guys are all looking at your hero bonds and seeing how you can maximize every single one of it this is the one that we increased today so her stats were actually 3.20% less than it was until we activated the hero bonds. 
So there's a lot of progress we can work on. The Rafe and Action one, you definitely want to increase that those heroes to level 120 so you can max out your hero bonds of HP of defense troops. What that means is that when you get attacked in your castle defense, it will increase in HP because of those hero bonds. So for her to increase the infantry attack even more, she would have to increase this more Ishtar, but right now it's only two stars. And let's see what else. So I'm probably going to go back to the Rafe because I saw that there was a trap skill book earlier, the Falling Stone, that um, basically your traps will cause damage to infantry when they attack your castle. And in the beginning of 235, when I first began, I thought trap skill books were great. But then I realized when you get hit, soloed, or rallied, your traps decrease like ginormously. So let's go look at her trap capacity and limit. Her limit right now is 30,000. She only has 6,900 traps. You see, getting trap speeds is a lot harder than getting troop training speeds. And for me now, my suggestion for you guys is not to focus too much on trap books because one, I feel like they're a waste of gems. You can be getting different skill books to boost up your stats with troops with those gems and yeah you just want to focus on mass producing a lot of these troops Ooh, i do like that she's using kanta and arcadius already and i like that and i always want to make sure that you guys are always training troops especially if you've already reached t9 army and i've stressed that in my beginning videos of the beginner rock series once you reach t9s start mass producing those t9 infantries because t9 infantry is completely different from the t10 infantries t9s are the spearmen exactly like the t11s so they are the attack group and you need a bunch of attack group since it's going to take you know everybody a while to get to l3 that's why you want to mass produce a lot of t9 spearmen okay so let's go see her skill books skill shop i mean so i already saw one commander which is great she um she you guys should definitely get commander and i'm probably going to dismantle something so i can get that commander for her so at this point of the clip my phone crashed a bit so then it didn't stay recording to for me to get that commander skill book on camera but what i did was i went back to rafe and i went to the falling stone bought an oblivion potion so that i can forget that skill book for her and then i'm going to let her decide what skill book she wants to place right there um in my mindset i think what she should place is archer attack but unfortunately she doesn't have it she can also place wall defender as well but because she's in a new kingdom and she is new and she doesn't have obviously unlimited amount of gems what i would do is try to get archer attack first and then later she can like also work on wall defender because wall defender is really good it also boosts the archer attack the same exact percentage but wall defender it only works on your wall and it also costs a lot of gems so that's why i say like start with archer attack first Let's now move on to the military points and the honor medals, honor points and everything because Joseph did ask me to touch up on it in this video. So I am going to uh, talk about that next. All right, so per week, your maximum honor medals that you can obtain is 30,000. That's the maximum per week that you can get it from. Right now, her honor medals are, is 59,199. She hasn't invested anything in this yet. And Joseph was asking me which one should she invest it to. So since she doesn't um, have KVK just yet, she doesn't know basically if she's going to go to the enemy kingdom a lot or is she going to stay in home kingdom and defend a lot. And also she didn't reach the military rank of Knight Templar yet. So that's why the domestic attack, kingdom war defense and kingdom war attack is actually in red. It's blocked off. So her goal, first of all, she needs to try to earn those military points and try to get to Knight Templar so that it can unlock those military skills. Because it's so important that you have access to every single one of them. So the higher the military rank you are, the more percentage of stats you will also gain. So right now can be your focus is to try to get to Knight Templar. When you get to Knight Templar as your first goal, you will achieve troop defense of 12% higher, HP 6% increase, and attack 4% increase. 
the highest military rank you can achieve is Lord Commander. And in order to achieve these high military ranks, you're going to have to score some big military points total per week. So how people do this is they mass produce a lot of their troops, especially when you reach C26. You want to make sure you mass produce all those T9 armies so that you can participate in as many killing events as possible, like kill events and you know events such as like city siege if you want to just keep healing you can definitely do that too and you guys don't have it yet but kvk and overlord those are great ways to earn military points as well and super easy so this list right here just shows you the different military ranks within the military points i believe it's your kingdom and the next 50 kingdoms it kind of bases it upon upon like who has the highest military points and then from then on they'll kind of rank it down all right and let's see what else we should talk about okay we talked about this page already everything here is in that question mark in your military skill page so if you guys want to definitely read up on this even more you can definitely go to that question mark on the top right corner in this calculations page it kind of just explains to you the troop level the corresponding military points that goes with it and the auto medals that you will receive going with it of course auto medals again 30k maximum military points unlimited it starts from a t4 troops and up now i'm going to take a look at her institute to see exactly what she's been researching and what she needs to focus on researching so the arrow slits two and the merlins two it did not finish up um researching yet so she really needs to research these two because when someone attacks her castle she's going to be playing defense quite a lot for a new kingdom so she wants to make sure that um it can be you want to make sure that you are maxing those out and let me look through your military okay so your military make sure that you're focusing on training speed because i know so many people who start off and it kind of doesn't focus on it because you don't have a lot of resources and i completely get it like if you can't focus all the way on it it's okay but what i did was i focused on training speed a lot compared to everybody else and then because i did i was able to get so much power in such a short time and participate in so many more events as well and definitely since you only have four hospital spaces make sure you are maximizing this extra beds category right here and making sure that you demolish four more tiles so that you can put four more hospitals to maximize that eight hospital space so before i end fixing up your castle kimby i will add shrek back on the wall for you so that you don't have one hero on the wall I know for everyone watching this and Kimby herself that I could not fix your castle stats and show you guys the improvement in percentage today but because most of the things that you need to get done are just equipment and just researching those things in the institute and getting more skill books and then your heroes are on their way I can't wait to see Shrek 120 and the difference in stats it's going to make for you and i can't wait to see your update in a few weeks so in a few weeks i will go into the castle again and show you guys the update when she um, worked her way up to knight templar and everything all right but thank you so much you guys for watching this video and remember if you guys want me to pimp up your castle and everything like that just make sure when you're requesting it through line or discord to give me time because I do get a lot of requests, I do get a lot of messages at the same time, and I'm trying to focus on a lot of other things in life as well. So this is my new social media page right here. I made a Facebook recently. I haven't used Facebook in a long time, like actively using it. So you guys are gonna have to bear with me. I'm kind of learning the ropes still. If somebody is like a Facebook freak and uses Facebook every day and wants to kind of show me the ropes around Facebook, you are always more than welcome to. I hope you guys participate in my giveaway because I'm so excited to give away, you know, free things to free people and kind of just making fun games for you guys. This is kind of like what I wanted to do and the reason why I opened up YouTube in the first place was to be able to help you guys. So, I don't know, I just want to say like I'm super happy to be able to help you guys in some shape or form. And again, thank you so much Kimby for letting us, you know, improve your castle the best that we can for this video. With all that said, thank you so much for watching this video and supporting. I will see you guys in the next video. Remember that my giveaway lasts from 417 to 420. Alright, see ya!